Hey guys, it's a very bleak autumn day. As I says, what a morning. <laughs> Try and zoom up for this. Just let you see just how much. It is raining. <laughs> eh? I'm not long back from the town, so I did get a little bit wet, but not as much as I could have had if I hadn't got back quicker than what I did, if you understand what I mean. <laughs> so I was lucky. When I was out, when I first went out, it was just uh, light rain. But I heard, I heard the guy in the post office saying that it was going to be a wild day, hurricanes and whatever. I think this is a tail end of that hurricane, Ian. It hit America. We always get, if we always get the weather, what, what America gets, we, we sometimes get the tail end of what they have had. I think that's what this is, just the tail end of it. Look, look at this cheap. Yeah. Just showing you what it is like. So I think it'll be a day in the flat today. See if that's zoomed in. Anyway. I posted off two more paintings I sold, which is good, and I've got some bills paid. So I went into the art shop up the town to see if I could get some more canvas boards, but they'd sold out, so I'll need to try and get them online uh, from that outlet. Well, that hinders me because I can, as you've seen, I've got loads of canvas is prepared ready ready to go but I just wanted these canvas boards for uh, doing some specialised paintings for selling on eBay uh, but they can be I've got loads on eBay anyway so this is just a stock for Christmas time coming up and look at that far away as well so Christmas presents people will be thinking about I don't think it'll be going out today guys and dolls I don't think Unless I put on my waterproof uh, clothing. But I think I'll probably start a painting today that I've been wanting to start for ages. And I might show you me doing it. So, what I have done, I'll show you what I have done uh, yesterday. Over there, wait to turn this round. There. Well, that is zoomed, zoomed out. Let's zoom you back in. There. Oh, hit the brushes. I started this. I seen a a, th a, a missile thrush, a, a song thrush, sorry, out when I was out doing the walks. So I've got the eyes and everything. I've got loads of wee details to do, but that's just the basics. As you can see, I have done it with a scalp. Uh, Pally knife. I've done it with my pally knife. That one. I love doing paintings with pally knife. The bird I done with the brush. The wings I done with the pally knife, but the breast I did with a brush. So I've got a few more details to do, but that's a uh, song thrush in the snow. Yeah. So I've got that to do. But that'll only take minutes to do do the beak and the legs and whatever, the small details. There's another painting that I want to start. Probably one of the same size, but there's a what just just uh, a bit bigger, I think. And there's a big painting as well that I've got in mind to do, which is a uh, really a really big one. Which is probably just as big as uh, as Elizabeth there. I've started it, but 
and when I'm going to do a local scene. Yeah, so we'll see how we get on. Anyway, it's not the boiler. <laughs> I thought you'd like to see that wee paint in there. I've just about forgot about it, so I need to get that done today as well. Get that finished and get it hung up. Uh, I don't know if I'll be selling it or not. Uh, I probably will put it up. I've put kingfishers whatever up as well, but uh, there's a couple of paintings that I like just to keep. Just uh, for my own reference. For my own liking. And uh, I'm starting to blow that now, so next. Just to let you see guys, a couple of things I got up between a wee mini hole. I got a sharpie. Got a sharpie pen. From the 99 pen shop. So that was 99p. And that's a special sharpie I'll show you in a minute. And it's used my lunch over there. <laughs> I got this from the works. It is yellow yellow paint and it's three pound. It's acrylic. Yellow paint. It's a acrylic paint. This is the colour that I love the most. That's why I run out of that the most. So yellow is essential. Now let me show you this pen. Right, Sharpie. This one is good for drawing because it has Kind of do it with one hand. The way I get this stand. Right, guys, I've got these on a stand. Now, this sharpie. Eh? God, that's hard to come off. It's got the normal end, and if you look at the other end, it's got a very fine. It's got a very fine nib on it on the other end. See that? And the other end is a normal size. But in this pen it's got special. That's good for doing fine art details. So that's a special sharpie. I don't know if you ever noticed that in sharpies before. Well, know them all, but certain ones has got one end and a thin end at the other end. So that was at the 99p shop. So there's a wee bit of uh, info for you. Two ends. One normal end and one fine art end. Nice, eh? Thought I'd show you that. <laughs> I had to put it in a stand though. You need two hands for that one. Normal end. And the fine end. Right guys, that was just a quick vlog for you to see uh, what I've been up to this morning. I thought I'd uh, record that extreme weather, you can hear it. So, as I said, I'll be staying in, but just a short vlog, just to let you know what's up. Uh, since I'm going to be out the uh, next couple of days, so bye bye for now. <laughs> mm. Get umbrellas out. There's that button.